Hi, my name is Corey Mayo, licensed realtor with Monument Sotheby's, and welcome to Who's in the House, your podcast for everything coastal Delaware. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, that notification bell. That way you're updated every time I upload new podcasts or videos. And if at any time you have questions, feel free to email us at info at who's in the house, D-E as in Delaware.com. You can also call or text 302 466 Five five one one. Now sit back and enjoy this episode of Who's in the House. Welcome, welcome to, to Who's in the House. Thanks for for coming by. Thank you. Um, Thank you. You got the guys from Fox Lane Homes here. You know, uh, so the company originally. Philly Market is, is where, where it started from, and then came down into Delaware roughly... About three years ago. So three years we, ago. Um, Fox Lane Homes was originally launched as a, um, as a fully custom builder, um, and so that was about seven years ago in the Philadelphia market, and the okay. division is still there. Um, and then Coastal Delaware Division was started about three years ago. Um, and uh, and Sweet Bay was our first community from scratch okay. uh, in, uh, in the market. And... Um, We've kind of morphed from the fully custom world into the semi-custom world where we design great floor plans that work for a lot of folks for a bunch of different reasons. Yeah. But you can always massage um, certain options or certain structural things into place for how you're going to use the house. Yeah, which I think is is important because, you know, we don't have any, you know, lack of production builders that are here. And we don't have a lack of custom builders either. And obviously the custom guys do a couple homes a year and the production guys do a lot of it. And it's that. You know, you have a choice. You either have flexibility and a large price, or you have no flexibility. So it's nice to have that in between. I think that this market has needed it. You know, someone that can start and correct me if I'm wrong. Start kind of with that production floor plan, and then right. What do you want to do? Like, like, yeah. do, do you have ideas? We're we're open to listening. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. And that's what's really fun because even like when we walk through the homes that are under construction, they all look so different because oh, everybody cool. put their own stamp on their home. Yeah, yeah. And it's really cool to see like all the creative ideas that we work together with our clients um, to make it truly theirs. Um, and not like, not just like trim or like I want a yeah. different color cabinet or something. Like you guys will, yeah. If you have to what extent, if you have a big family and you need King Arthur's table in your dining room, yeah, uh, we'll give it to you. Really, you know, yeah. you will give you the space for for you to have it. So it it it's fun stuff like that. And there's some there's some trim and like you know some fun stuff with that too. But sure. you know, structurally, we can get pretty creative with folks. <laughs> now. Obviously, one of the big parts on production builders when it's the same floor plan that's either, you know, they're like preset. You know, I always say it's preset determined size Legos. Like you want to do a screen and porch, here's the three that you can pick from. Whereas you guys say, yeah, we have three, but if you want to change it, you can. What does that do to the, the timetable? How does that change, you know, from a buyer's perspective of if I went with builder A, who's production, and they're saying it's going to be, you know, four to six months or whatever it might be of build time, what does it add, you know, being able to do some customization to it? Yeah, so Matt and I, um, we work together with our clients to confirm all structural. Okay. And that structural can be if you're bumping out your great room or bumping out for a larger dining or, you know, trying to fit a custom tub and beautiful bathroom and you want to blow out those walls, sure. we'll work with you to design the structural. And that typically is done in a two to three week period. Okay. And then once all structural are completed, that's where we start working up their sets of floor plans and blueprints because um, each home will get their own individual f- blueprints to mm. work off of. Okay. Um, once those are completed, they are ready to be handed over to our design team and that's where they go room by room, and they get to pick exactly what they want in each room. Like color, fit, and finishes? Or are we talking about like size and structure or both? So we've already done the structural. So oh, at okay. the design, it's color, fit, finish, okay. you know, um, all the fun things. You know, even built-ins through the home. We have, if you've been to our model, you've seen the beautiful bunk beds we do, little window seats. Um Anything like that, you would still go through structural, and then it's just putting all the design into it. Yeah, when I went to your model down in in um, down south, I noticed that there were a couple things that were even mm-hmm. obviously you have the ability of making some structural changes and, and customizations to it, but also some of your selections I noticed were had that 
customish feel, even like your countertops. Do you guys even do that, like, kind of 45-degree miter wrap around yeah. to make your countertop look like it's Absolutely. really thick stone, which yeah. is – I've never – I've only seen custom builders do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we we, uh, we have a pretty extensive selections catalog. I think people can go, uh, you know, can go as aggressively as they yeah. want with that type of stuff. But, um, but yeah, they um, – we really have a, a lot of choice, and we use some brand names for our countertops. For example, we work with Cambria, okay. um, and uh, and Hanstone are two big ones, and we have a great selection of flooring, and we use all Shaw floors. Cool. Okay. Um, so um, yeah, I think folks can can really get into you know exactly what they want their house to look like, and you know we Natalia and I even talk about um, you know if. if people want an exercise room, you know, maybe we explore a rubberized floor, oh, whatever that is, yeah, you know, yeah, whatever yeah. that is, that's important to, to our customers. You know, we're going to explore the best way we, you know, can accomplish the structure and then also the look and feel they want for that r- individual room um, so, with them. So you guys are in most cases now open for just kind of like open discussion with your clients. So, and this may be going a little bit extreme obviously we're talking about my daughter's an irish dancer yeah in my basement i built her a dance studio you know Love if that. it was like hey cool. i i i'm gonna build a house with you guys will you do 30 feet of mirrors in there yeah. and you know sure so like that's like a, a discussion that you could even have to that degree absolutely definitely yeah wow i'm sold yeah. <laughs> where, 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 where do i sign so i don't have to build Let's another studio <laughs> yeah but back to the time frame um then your design is typically you know depending on how customized you get and if you know you're looking at things that are maybe outside of our offerings um Overall time, your design process is probably 30 to 45 days. Okay. Um, so all in all, I would say a six to nine month period to get into your home, oh, okay. depending how quickly you move through selections. Yeah. So adding those structural you know, features and then going through engineering design and, and permitting and all that doesn't really change, add a, a ton of time to it. Not too much. Not too okay. much, really. Yeah. I know on the custom side, it, it can get very extensive you know, yeah. and, and can really draw it out. But I guess because the vast majority of the house has already kind of been been run through and approved that we're just making minor changes. Well, Correct. Minor, but, you know, Correct. compared to building a house from scratch. Yeah. You know, it, it depends it on how complex, complex that engineering gets. Yeah. So if we, you know, obviously our floor plans are fully engineered and, um, you know, and a big piece of that obviously is like HVAC measuring, right? Sure. You know, so yeah, if you're sure. adding finished square footage, you know, obviously we're yeah. going to take a look at that plan and see, hey, like we may need to adjust the weight of the systems with yeah. the house. Yeah. Um, You've had some spec homes previously. Is that still something that from time to time you're seeing that is popping up? Or how are you guys kind of doing with with that? Because I think I I know I had some clients that always had interest of, you know, I want a new home, you know, now, and it's like, well, of course you do. So does, yeah. so does everybody. But yeah. I, I, so think there's, look at specs. I think there's a couple pieces to that. I think, I, I think we'd always like to, um, you know, sort of have our toes in in the quote unquote resale market and having something that's a little bit quicker delivery sure. um, for folks. If, you know, if they're, if they're looking for a certain delivery time frame that's shorter than a full build cycle, yeah. um, you know, that's something that we'd certainly be interested in. But I think, you know, I think the second part of that is I, I, I think that gets away from our strength yeah. um, a little bit with okay. being, having the ability to customize and have folks, you know, really fulfill their vision of sure. what the house is. Um, so I, I think primarily, obviously we're going to be doing, yeah. Uh, to be built. But I think, you know, moving forward, we'd always like to have, you know, at least a, some opportunity for folks to move in a little bit quicker. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I noticed with the, like you had a spec that was up here in Lewis and what was, I found, and this is maybe kind of goes to the general message of, of the company is that even with it being a spec, there's still was options of like making it yours. Mm-hmm. You know, there was some flooring that was sure. left out. So, sure. that, Hey, you know, I think it was on the second floor. There was, no, mm-hmm. no carpet in it. So if you wanted carpet, you guys would then finish it off with carpet or hardwood or whatever yeah. you wanted. And like with countertops, because that's a very big, important item for people, especially in the kitchen, is to make that that finish special to them. Right. So leaving that out, I, th- I thought that was clever. It was a really nice way of, of offering a spec home that's available for like a quick delivery. 
that still has somewhat of a level of like these are some some big items, physical and cosmetic items that are special to each person. Yeah, it gives you the opportunity to still customize it. Um, a lot of our spec homes typically are like we have a couple coming up where we've taken a floor plan and, you know, through feedback, we've come up with even better ideas mm, on the sure. floor plan. That's cool. So they're almost like prototypes that we're building. Um, so it's really nice that we're able to build the house and see how it works and Mm -hmm. looks and then that's when we sell it as a spec home but it's us you know always improving our floor plans and you know really listening to what people are asking for yeah Yeah, and even little things like that i mean it 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 went natalia and i are really focused on the customer right it's it's your house it's your way it's your process right and we're here to you know guide you down the path you know, towards towards getting where you want to go. Yeah. But let's little things like that. I mean, if you know, if you choose a countertop or a flooring for a, a customer, it becomes you know, our house, your house, yeah. our way. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And, yeah. So, and yeah. so we 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 really try to keep that in mind. You know, for folks that we're working with. That's cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, there's there's builders that are purely spec home builders. Yeah. You know, that are national guys, and you kind of walk in, and it's you know, there's a buyer for every home. Um, and that's great for them, but it is it's very vanilla, and you yeah. know you have to be willing to make a lot of compromises, you know, and Correct. you know at that price point, are you willing to? Th- is the time important enough to you? And to some people, it is, and, mm-hmm. and other people, they're like, yeah, I'll, I'll wait and get it the way you know, bake it, bake the cake the way I want it to taste, uh, you know, yeah. sure. type of scenario. So, I love that. Um, the offerings, you know, for, from you guys in regards to where someone can build a house. Obviously, you guys have have some communities. Are you also doing um, on your lot, or are you just mainly doing um, you know community specific? We do on your lot as well. Um, it's really just making sure where the lot is um, located, it's close to one of our projects. That makes sense. Okay. I mean, yeah. we are... You know Maryland at this point. No yeah. Maryland, <laughs> yes. Um, but uh, obviously, we have to be there every day to manage it, and yeah. we want to make sure that it, it is within distance yeah. that our team can still... Well, and it, it, you you kind of run out of the the efficiencies, which is yeah. one of the production you know thing. You know, we get to keep costs down with by some level of efficiency. Sure. So if you're right. building a community here and your to be built is a hundred miles away <laughs> and you're running f- crews out there, it doesn't you know now it now all of a sudden doesn't make sense. So that right. makes so if there is something that's whatever and you know. You know, that would be for a, a further discussion within the radius of whatever it is you guys do do on, on your. Yeah, we're office. always cool. yeah willing to meet if you have a lot and would love Fox Lane to build. We're happy to discuss it and see if we can make it happen. Yeah. Worst case scenario is, you know, no. But how about this community? <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. we, we got some great lots. So yeah. so yeah. right now, um, opportunities for people, you know, uh mainly on the southern side. Mm-hmm. Um, I know that we talked about some potential northern side but let's focus on the southern side stuff what do you have kind of cooking right now yeah um so sweet bay was our first from scratch community and we worked with natalie communities who was our developer partner um, on the project and it's 64 homes um we have about 16 lots left at this point oh really (laughs) yeah Yeah. wait wait, when did that open july july of 2022 was the grand opening really yeah so we uh well done yeah thank Thank you. you No, and it's it's definitely exciting. Um, so we're we're um, getting towards the end of that community, but still plenty of opportunity um, for great lots. And really, the focus and one of the unique selling points for Sweet Bay is is privacy of the rear yard. So we have um, the, Natalie did a great job of leaving uh, mature trees in the community. We were once Very a nice. forest, yeah. um, so it, it isn't. Um, it isn't like a typical field you'd see in some of the other Sussex County uh, communities that are have younger trees. So, um, you know, we still do have great opportunity there. Our floor plans there range anywhere from about 1,500 square feet um, all the way up to about 4,200 square feet, oh, wow. 4,500 okay. square feet if you go all ba- the way. Basements or no? No basements there. No basements there. So okay. condition crawl space. Okay. Uh, there. Oh, that's good. I'm glad. glad yep. you know. that's, yeah. That's great. But the, when I went through there, the thing that was I thought was really cool is that, you know, sometimes developers go in and they just kind of, you know, they'll carve it out. Mm-hmm. You know, there's forest and they carve it out, but they just carve it out. Mm-hmm. It's like, you know, just like, yeah. you know, take a machete and just chop it all down. Whereas your roads kind of carve through and the carving kind of went with the shape of the roads. So there's almost like wooded lots everywhere. You know? yes. It's not like in the middle, 
your mm-hmm. homes back into homes. There's, there's just so many trees that, that there are left yeah, up there, which is, which is cool. Um, Amenity-wise, what's kind of going on amenity-wise in there? Yeah, so it'll be opening this summer. Um, The pool house is completed, and it's a beautiful pool with a zero entry, and it'll have a little shelf to put your chairs on and read a book, have a cocktail. Which I just found out is called a sun deck. I had no idea. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I I I saw the sun deck as a deck that you've got sun on. (laughs) Yes. You learn something new every day. I'm like, as long as I've been in this industry, I had no idea. I love it. We'll start using that. (laughs) Yeah. Um, And then there's a beautiful fire pit area for the residents to use that overlooks a pond with a fountain. So it's just really serene back there. And I mean... It's going to be a fun time. We have some really great neighbors in Sweet Bay. So, very, very yeah. cool. Very cool. So, and you were saying, obviously, starting square footage is in that 15 to 4. Mm-hmm. What have you found is like the average square footage that you're fine when someone comes in? They're typically looking at, you know, one story, you know, owner suite on the first floor, mm-hmm. 2,000 square foot. You know, what have you kind of found? Definitely is, owner suite on the first floor. Okay. <laughs> yes. Do all of your floor plans offer first floor owner suites, or do you have kind of a little bit of a mix? We have a mix. We have a mix. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, but most people, I would say, they start out asking for 2,500 to 3,000 okay. square feet. Yeah. Okay. Um, and probably end up about the 28 to 3,200. Yeah, which is yeah. actually, you know, compared mm-hmm. to... That's a little bit on the bigger side. So some nice size homes that are there in there, basically. Yeah, yeah which is, which absolutely. Is nice. Yeah. Um, now the community, obviously, it's it's in Frankfurt, as we can see here. Mm-hmm. What is um, its proximity to you know? kind of area community or area amenities as far as in the surrounding area? Well, it's great. Um, so if you love like the concerts at the Freeman stage, you're just minutes, um, less than a mile to the Bayside golf course, Freeman mm. stage. Signatures. Yep. Yeah, signatures. Um, if you're into like farm to table, um, you have um, the produce. Oh my gosh, what's the name of it? Parsons. Oh, okay. Parsons is yep. right down the road, less than 10 minutes away. Um, and then you have so many great dining options on 54. Matt and I always like to Don't hit forget them. Four Brothers Pizza. Four <laughs> Brothers, yes. You can walk to Four Brothers, and it's incredible. We're there, like, all the time. <laughs> They're like, you again. You're back again. Hey. <laughs> it's us. Um, but, yeah, like, so many great um, places to dine. Some of them, like Harpoon Hannah's, you know, is less than 10 minutes away. I was just gonna You're right so on like the how, water. Catch okay. 54. Yeah, yeah. Um, but and then less than five miles to the beaches. So and they're all like legit, like people that vacation, like they know those names. Like Harpoon and Hannah's is sure. like a known entity of like this Absolutely. is a good time. Secrets I mean, light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That, that, that's, that's, that's great. Yeah. But in it, coconut muffins. Is, I mean. Yeah, <laughs> right, right around the corner to have that. Um, and for people that are watching that don't know, um, the Freeman stage is in Bayside, and that's an outdoor arena stage venue, but, yeah, venue yeah. that has like legit acts yes. i mean yeah. and, and it, it jams there yeah it's so fun like all the you know sticks beautiful. has to be rocking there uh, yeah. yeah yeah but beautiful yeah. outdoor <laughs> stage there's food trucks everywhere um it's is, just ba- is Bayside public the the golf course or is that private it, yeah y- you it? can play there okay. um you know and so but they obviously do have the membership for the community so. yeah but so it's any layman off the road can go in. I would say that probably mm-hmm. increased rate. But they yes. can, yeah. it's not like a fully private high school. Yeah. I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah. So if you're into golf, you can live in a very quiet, laid back, and just drive. And how how long of the drive is it? Would you say from from Sweet Bay down to to uh, Bayside? Oh, it's uh, it's minutes. a mile. Yeah, yeah less oh. than five minutes. Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. Wow, yeah. that's that's awesome. Yeah, and the location's really cool because it's kind of central to, you know, you can be in Bethany in 10 to 15 minutes. You can be in Fenwick in 10 to 15. But then you're also really close to, like, Assateague and mm. Berlin and those cute little areas that are kind of, like, still hidden gems. Sure. Berlin, um, absolutely. Oh, which I, I didn't it. really yeah. know yes. a whole bunch about until I moved down here. And then I... I I, you know, unfortunately, I haven't been there yet, but I've I've done a lot of research on it. Like super so cool cute. little town, yeah, very cute, yeah. yeah. So like, how far would would Berlin be? Twenty five minutes. minutes? Oh, yeah. yeah. So that's like, I mean, I oh. obviously drive faster than you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No comment. Yeah. Um, but 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 I think what one of the key to to this community, which people you really kind of need to get there to to understand it. Um, and it took me a little bit until I got there to, to really like let it digest is how kind of tranquil the setting is when sure. you get in there. Yet 
you, you know, you would think like when you pull in, wow, I'm probably like 45 minutes from the beach because of like how quiet and sure. all the trees that this is a setting that was not going to be like, a, a, this is, it wouldn't be my beach house because it's in, way too far away from the beach, but it is, yeah. you know, which is really, really cool. And I think is, is pretty unique. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I used to work, you know, as we said, I worked for a builder down in the area, you know, in a, in a previous life. And we had a community down in the similar area. And we kind of did that, what I told you, just kind of leveled all the trees out. And it was cool because we had trees that were all the way around, but it didn't have that tranquil kind of feel and setting to where you're kind of strolling through, you know, which is, I know the community is not massive, but it feels like it. Yeah. You know, and I sure. think it's because of all the trees that were left up and kind of that, that vibe that you get. Yeah. It's definitely different from everything that you see in the area. Um, just the size and, and that's kind of what we're looking to do as well with Fox Lane is just to get into smaller communities, being a boutique builder, kind of keeping boutique communities mm-hmm. that people that want to come down here, be close to all the action, but just a little bit further and to still have the peaceful, you know, tranquil lifestyle that everyone looks forward to after you retire. Sure. I mean, I'm not even retired and I love that lifestyle. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, just, you know, you're working all day. You want to go back to your own little retreat. Yeah. Um, So, yeah, all of our communities um, will have the same kind of feel where they're just smaller and intimate um, and just... Yeah, and I think we're mostly going to be for for most of our communities, and there there'll be exceptions as we move forward. But uh, most of our communities are definitely going to be primary home focused. Okay. Um, so, like mm-hmm. you know, really most of our communities are going to have um, you know annual re- lease uh, minimum oh, requirements. Okay. So they they really are a um, you know a flip of the coin from a place like Bayside or you know or Bay sure. Forest that are you know in our general area where they do have the weekly or the biweekly rentals. It's really going to be for folks that that want to either have their home there or, you know, have a second home where um, there aren't going to be new neighbors every week. Yeah. Well, and I think that also to kind of the question I had earlier regarding your floor plans, because Mm -hmm. there are, you know, I've noticed somewhat of an influx of families that are coming down year round since COVID with this working remotely. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, with having kids and everything, sometimes people on the younger side, want all the bedrooms upstairs and have a little bit, you know, have that owner suite space that would have been taken up on the first floor for an additional playroom or, you know, dining room or whatever it might be. Um, and a lot of builders don't offer, you know, everything up, all the, all the bedrooms up. So, you know, being in a community that has larger homes, you know, obviously that's going to lend itself to maybe that lifestyle and then having bedrooms with the opportunity of all being upstairs is, yeah. is great for that, which, sure. you know, again, would probably lend itself also to, you know, year round. Not that people wouldn't have a rental house with everything up, but, right. or, or their secondary home. But yeah, if you're year, year round, you know, you'll be living here all the time, mm-hmm. you know. What you should do. You should de- definitely, <laughs> Everyone de- should do. Definitely yeah. move, move down, down the coast. <laughs> Highly of recommend it. Yeah. Um, no, that's, that's great because, you know, again, you know, I can think of three floor plans from all the builders that I work with that have all the bedrooms up. Yeah. So that's great. It's yeah, good, good to know that that's there. We're excited there. to offer it. Our Providence floor plan is incredible. Um, and we just sold one in Sweet Bay. We so did. that'll start construction here in the spring. Um but there it is. is. When this you one. are able to move the primary upstairs, it allows the downstairs living area to feel that much more grand. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And as you can see, the little pocket office, just as you said, um, could be a little playroom for you or, you know. The, oh, yeah. A very, little, very cool. Yeah. So it's really nice. Um, and then there's ability to still have a first floor bedroom and bathroom that front flux room powder can convert. Well, and the other thing that I found, even though they're limited, but typically when you have all of your bedrooms up, the rooms tend to stretch. Even when you're a foot or two, it's amazing how much a foot or two in a room yeah. you know, feels. feels bigger. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then obviously, you know, I'm sure if they wanted to be like, hey, can we bump this out a little bit more? Mm-hmm. You guys have the ability to do that. Yeah. But just by, by the, the native measurements, they tend to be a little bit bigger. I mean, a great room that's 16 and a half by 15 is a good size Great room for sure, Mm -hmm. especially in an open floor plan. Um, Yeah. And then if you go to the second floor, I mean, it's just incredible how much fun and family. Yeah. Um, But who wouldn't want that amazing owner's suite with two huge walk-in closets? (laughs) I mean, a spa bathroom. Big, big bathroom. Wow. And then. And then you have an ensuite. Mm -hmm. An ensuite bed back here. Yeah. 
And then that bedroom four could be a loft if you wanted, you know, just a couple bedrooms okay. and then yeah. a whole nother like family style living area. And this is so, so, and this is where I get intrigued in this because sometimes I look at floor plans and I'm like, ah, oh, if I were building this, how would I want this mm-hmm. to be for, for my life? I'm like, ah, oh, it's missing the whatever. So let me check out another floor plan. Sure. So, for example, having, you know, two girls, they would both want their own bathroom. And I go, oh, this is really cool. However, it's not an ensuite, but we could be like, can we put a door here? Sure. Yeah, like yep. that's super. That's Absolutely. that's super cool. So now yeah. all of a sudden, this floor plan is is a viable option because you guys will make that change. Whereas in most cases, the answer is no. Like we, exactly, and we just can't. Yeah. Um, and I'm assuming that if it was like, can we do a pocket door? It's yes. open open for discussion. Yeah, yeah or course. even a barn door. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, that's that's really cool. That's it's nice. Um, We've even just done the hidden door, which we're super we're excited exploring about. exploring the hidden door, right? <laughs> I don't know what a hidden door is. It's a door. It it's usually the clue. Looks like... We called. We, we were joking. It's kind of the clue door where you pull the book out. Oh, really? And the, no. the, 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 and the bookcase going... opens. Yeah, that's what I'm Matt like, was envisioning. Yeah. Um, I am so intrigued. I'm like, yeah. let's do this. But if you've seen the walls, it's usually like a trimmed wall, yeah. and then the door just pops open. Um, and what would be behind it? Um, you could do storage. Storage, you typically. Could, yeah, yeah, typically oh, storage, so cool. a closet, or some people are doing built-ins, you know, just that you want to hide. Speakeasy. You know. Maybe. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Love it. No, that's so cool. That's that's really, you know, and, and again, I think that for, you know, a production or a track builder or whatever, that's just not really a viable, you know, they're like, hey, this just isn't really in the cards for, yeah. for mass producing. And, yeah. And, and that's because they're building six or seven hundred homes a year, whatever yeah, it may right. be. Well and and Natalia mentioned it earlier in our discussion, but really like the key to that is is us doing a site specific blueprint. Yeah. So everybody has sure. their own yeah. plans that we, you know, can customize um, based on what they want, would like to do us to do, what they envision um, for their home. So really that that's the key, you know, to us being able to make customizations yeah. for our customers. So so let me put you on the spot here for a second. Um, what is your favorite floor plan? Mm. Well, <laughs> tough one. Well, mine would be the, the Providence because I'm actually building this. <laughs> <laughs> well, well that, that makes sense. That makes to- total. I would hope so. Um, but I would say, I mean, our model, the Charleston, it's, that is a really it's great, beautiful. It is a great floor plan. I mean, I never get tired of walking into that home. Right? Like, I'm so fortunate to have some work in it. And what's, and what's great, and, and I could be wrong, but I think the elevation of the model is very different than, than this rendering. It is. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. So it's, it's cool. And... The, the other thing that I think that people need to really look at when they're looking at it, and, and it's just compared to other builders, is my perception is clean lines is, is the best way of, that I describe how you guys engineer from the exterior of the home. It's just very crisp. I don't want to say modern, but very crisp, clean lines. It's not – there isn't a lot of fill. Like, oh, let's just put us – I don't know – do hit do hickey here just yeah. to look gingerbread. Like, yeah, exactly. No, that's a great, yeah, much more elegant way of <laughs> than, than the do hickey. Um, but yeah, very crisp, clean, you know, lines from the outside. Um, yeah. And and can people make changes to the elevation? Or sure. okay, absolutely. Um, so with the Charleston, we actually our model has a full front porch that we've customized. Um, and it's pretty great. And then the study, we added French doors, so you can open the doors right out onto your porch. Mm-hmm. It's oh, beautiful. Oh, exterior yeah. French. Yes. yes. Right here. So is yep. that right here? Yes. Yep. Oh, that's very cool. Because, And again, that's just something that, you know, again, no question is off the table. Mm-hmm. The answer might be no, but you can ask whatever you want with, yeah. you, with you guys. And there's usually a good reason if it's a no. So. Sure. Yeah, yeah. We don't want the house to fall down. Right. So, like, exactly. So we're not, like we're not gonna... <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, you know, and again, kind of to the point when we first started is I think that this is a model that's missing, you know, down here. This, you know, being able to customize. I know that there's maybe some other small, like small, small builders that have tried it. And um, I just think that you guys have figured out kind of the secret sauce on how to do it properly and um, make it make it work and deliver a product that, that people are, are happy with, which is which is cool. Um, are you you guys are not developing though? You're just on the build side, or are you doing both 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 sides of it? We are, yeah. So the the Knoll, um, the Knoll at Irons Lane, which is our our next community, um, and we we do have uh, two sales there, uh, but it's really like pre launch sales. Um, so site work is is continuing, but we are doing the site work for uh, right, for okay. those that community, and and we will 
will with with communities uh, moving forward into the future. We will do some site work, um, and of course, we'll we're, we're always be working with some of the developer partners in the area as well. Sure. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, it is nice when you have the opportunity to do so because you get to carve up the land in the way that your vision for the community is. Sure. So, right. so that's nice, and you know, some of that could also be you know working with you know the. Um, setbacks and your floor plans. To, mm-hmm. So hey, we all Correct. of our all of our homes can now fit on all home sites because you d- divided up the way that you wanted to. That's cool. Yeah. Like this, like this little. I, I'm. That's. I don't know. I. I think that's really cool. I've yeah. n- never seen that done before. Normally, have that little kind of triangle cross piece, whatever it's. You probably know what it's Gable called. Gable pediment. Oh, <laughs> uh, I, again, I, I would call that another doohickey. So, <laughs> so, but you know, that's yeah. I mean, that's it's. They're they're very pretty homes and very in, in their some simplicity, which I think that there's mm-hmm. you know yeah. again a huge market for that as well. Even like these, the style lighting is is really, um, you know, very nice. So this community, so this is Dagsboro. Yes. Yeah. Um, what in regards to kind of in the area is is around this because I know sometimes people hear Dagsburg and they go oh it's out in you know you know up or it's by the bay and it's, yeah, it's not, not it too is. far from the bay mm-hmm. but kind of what, what's going on in the surrounding areas there so we are almost right next door to Cripple Creek Golf Course oh okay oh yeah. cool yeah so um, what's really neat it's going to be just thirty three home sites again the home sites are absolutely beautiful they're wooded they're really deep um, so. It's just keeping it intimate. Um, and then the amenities there, there's going to be a little putting green just to kind of play off of sure. the Cripple Creek. Yeah. Um, but there's also opportunity to become a member and use the amenities at Cripple Creek Golf Course, oh, which awesome. is a clubhouse, mm-hmm. a pool. It's beautiful. It was just redone. Um, so, yeah, it's we're really excited for it. We, you know, kind of did a soft opening and already have two sales in. And oh, that's right. They're completing most of the infrastructure in the next couple of weeks, and then we'll do a full VIP launch. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, in in this community, um, do you know? Are you allowed to have like a, a private pool, mm-hmm. like your own personal yes. pool? Yes, that's awesome. And yeah. we can do basements. Oh, yeah. there you go! Yes. Amazing. Yes, so we're and, really excited about that. And that's actually. So here we go. I'm going to say this again. This lends itself to this whole, like, do it the way that you want it. Because sure. basements are, are awesome. It is a copy paste of the first floor, you know, minus your, your garage in, in most cases. Yeah. And sometimes you want to cut it up the way that you want to cut it up. Right. Um, absolutely. And with, with track builders, it is, again, those predetermined Lego blocks. So it's the way that they've decided is the most efficient way to, to do it. Yeah. And if you want it changed, either you do it afterwards or you do it unfinished and then have someone come in. Right. So it is always nice when you can move into your brand new home and it's done, you know, the way that you want it to. So right. you can have your Irish dance studio back here. Absolutely. Yeah. You guys should have that yeah. as an option. You know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Be careful. Um, and might. then your speakeasy on the other side. It's, it's, exactly. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to start charging. Look at this <laughs> Irish, Irish thing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Theme. Yeah, yeah, right. Exactly. I love that. Um, yeah, so. that's, that's awesome. Yeah. yeah it, it, the Knoll has a fun, a little bit of a fun story to go along with that too because the Knoll actually physically exists at the Knoll at Irons Lane. So oh, really? the Knoll in the community is actually the spot where we can do basic foundations because it is a little bit higher elevation wise than some of the other okay. home sites so it's kind of an interesting like tie-in with like the geography of cool. the land yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah we'll have we'll have 13 basement opportunities total out of the, out of the 33 wow mm-hmm. yeah. with the basement I know that sometimes questions that I get asked with other builders is obviously you know what are ceiling heights is mm-hmm. that something that is flexible with you guys or is it I'm assuming also also depending on the perk tests you know that would be somewhat but how does that kind of work if someone said I want twelve foot base, you know, base ceilings in my basement? That that would be uh, the the um, that would be based on what the engineers tell us to do, like how water deep? level wise. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like at, at the knoll, it'll be eight an eight feet wall um, for for mm-hmm. the foundation. But you guys, you know, if it's if the engineers say yes, you guys are willing to dig deeper. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 That's, yeah, that's, yeah. You know, again, that's just that. You know, that's, that's that's pretty cool because I've had that, and sometimes they ask, well. Can we, you know, build the foundation higher up off the ground or mm-hmm. something? And mm-hmm. the answer is, you know, in most cases is always no because predetermined Lego blocks. And that's yeah, just kind of we're sure happy to look at it. Yeah, so. you know, again, and you know, no question is off the table. Um, so this is that, and then we have so the villages at Heron Creek is sold out. You had some some good home sites there. Um, but I've heard from a little birdie that there is a potential new uh, community that's going to be coming on online here 
in the on the northern side. Yeah. Yeah. Where's yeah. Suncrest. Um, so Suncrest is going to be um, a b- lower 30s, mid 30s homes. OK. Um, and so that is um, scheduled to open later this year. Um, site, work, site work will probably begin pretty soon um, at Suncrest. And it it's right off of Camp Arrowhead Road. And right next to Marsh Island, across from um, Marsh, Farms. Marsh Farm Estates. Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh, behind, behind it there. Okay. Yep. So I'm going to try. Yeah. I always like miss when I'm trying to navigate this. So there's 24. Let's see. So yep. it'll be, there we go. We're getting close here. Yep. So if you go down, you see that little piece of land right behind Marsh. Nope. Keep going up a little. Uh, uh, here? Yep. This? That right there. Yes. yes. Okay. So this is, um, is it, this is open land right now. Is that where you're building on that corner? So you so the community will have perimeter of trees, or kind of how does how does the anticipated look? You know. Yeah. So that is perimeter of trees, okay. and then there will be some home sites on the inside as well, mm-hmm. um, with amenities, and then able to do basements there as well. I was just going to ask that. Yeah. Like, Sounds basements? like right now that it. You know, nine feet can be possible, you know, oh, at, cool. at Suncrest, which is exciting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And your average floor plans, I'm assuming, are nine and eights. Nine on the first floor, eights on the second floor? Nine, nine on the second. Nine. Oh. Yeah. yeah. That is um, that, that is rare. You don't, yeah. you don't really see that. Normally, you have to go, like, big dollar to where it's ten and nine, not mm-hmm. having nine and nine. So that's, that's nice. And for people that don't know, if you've ever been on the second floor and you feel eight feet, it's normal. So you yeah. feel like uh, it's normal. But when you get to something that has nine foot ceilings on the on the second floor, there's this like feeling. It just feels, feels you're like, so good. You're yeah. like, what's what's going on here? What's there's, there's some, yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> sure. Yeah, it really is. Um, especially if there's a loft, the loft feels much bigger because the ceilings yep. are stretched out. So yeah. Um, there's another question, and I'm, I'm sure the answer is probably you know we can discuss it. Eight foot doors on mm. on like do you guys are you open to doing eight foot doors because if anyone has never seen a house with eight foot doors man it really kind of stretches things out absolutely you know? yeah we really? can look into yeah this is and cool. we so the Roanoke which is another one of our floor plans it's a giant ranch that's so about twenty six hundred almost twenty six hundred square feet wow, of ranch yeah, uh, on one floor it has a couple areas on the main floor that do have ten foot ceilings so you oh, do cool. get eight foot doors yeah um, wow um, with them there is there is a bit of work you know with re-engineering for um, for ten foot ceilings sure um, yeah. so we we will look at that but that yeah that's that's something that is uh, it's definitely an awesome look. Mm-hmm. Well, and yeah. and for that floor plan, for people that are looking for one-story living and potentially now in some of the communities that are offering basements, um, yeah. when you do a basement on a on a ranch home, because, again, it is pretty much copy-paste minus the garage, that's a massive basement. It mm-hmm. is. And that just turned your 2,600-square-foot home into a 5,200-square-foot yeah. right. sure. of, you know, could be all finished or, you know, yeah. partial finished, unfinished or whatever. But, yeah, that is... A huge, huge basement. I mean, yes. that is a yeah. lot of dancing down there for sure. <laughs> but no, that's that, that's great. So, and, and this is and so you say it's, you said site work's going to be starting soon. Yep. When is like an anticipated soft launch? I guess would probably be the best. I would say mid to end of the summer. Yeah, okay. yeah. August, September, October ish area. Yep. And um, you said in the thirties. So I'm assuming oh. you know no amenities there opportunity or maybe you might not know opportunity for pools there also or you're not sure yet yeah um so it it sounds like or there hoping, will be hoping. yeah hoping for pools there as well um and it, it does sound like that that'll be possible um we do have a, a couple of ideas on what could be in an amenity there mm. i don't think we've made some final decisions yeah, on that right. well that's a teaser yeah that, that, exactly. that'll, yes. that'll be for there's some rackets there's some potential rackets involved oh. <laughs> 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 what well, kind of kind of Put a little teaser out there. A little pickle yeah, uh, ball yeah. Yeah. Might, might Might make a little, little yeah. Yeah. popping noise. So, yeah. right. Um, no, that's that, that's great. And I'm sure that, you know, you know, all that as things move along and space and size and what's remaining. And, sure. But, you know, a lot of times the, the pool question um, comes from like HOA. Mm-hmm. You know, they just don't allow it. So, 
we're assuming or we're hoping as those documents develop sure. that, that, that that's a potential Correct. of something. That's so Yeah, and the so, home sites are a little bit larger, um, so they will be able to accommodate them. We have some really nice uh, home sites there. What, what, what are you seeing average size you're thinking they're going to be at? Almost quarter to... Yeah, those are almost quarter yeah, um, acres. Yeah, full quarter, yeah. a little more even. Where, mm-hmm. where are you, and we didn't talk about that, down in uh, Sweet Bay, where are you at size-wise down there? A fifth to a quarter. Oh, cool. Yeah, okay. so mm-hmm. like they're they're like slightly slightly larger than a fifth, but not quite a quarter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Typically, okay. cool. No, no, that's that's. I think that's a a good size. Um, in all of these communities, HOA, we didn't really cover what the HOA covers and does, and you know sometimes you know people they want lawn care and it's a necessity for them. They don't realize that you can just hire someone also. <laughs> right. Um, but I don't know. You know what does what do these HOAs you know cover? Um, I'm assuming in the 33 home site, it probably is not going to include that, but I'm making assumptions. It is going to include it is, that. Well, oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Because we want to keep the curb appeal. That's know? awesome. That's, uh, yeah, that's yeah. really cool. Keep people happy. Um, <laughs> uh, can they do irrigation wells? Um, that, good question. Yeah. Um, that, more to come on that. We're actually with the Knoll um, at Irons Lane. We're, we're in the process of getting the final draft of the HOA okay. documents. And so once we, we have those, we'll be able to answer those yeah, types of questions for okay. sure. Yeah. What what are some standard features that are included with with the house? You know, inside, outside, and on the property. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so um, we do a um, we have three elevations per home. Okay. Um, so at each home, we basically can build. You know, what uh, like about twenty four homes, like with our eight models or so. Sure. Um, different looking homes. Um, we do um, timber tech for uh, synthetic deck board for um, the front porch areas. In most cases, there are some that we decided to do cement. And then the rear porch always comes with the timber tech uh, okay. synthetic deck boards. Okay. Um, we do a, a included Cortex uh, luxury vinyl plank flooring mm. um, throughout the main like kind of public areas of the home. Okay. And then we do carpet in, in the bedrooms. Um, so if it would be from the foyer flowing in through correct. the great the room, main the great room, room. Main yeah. kitchen, yeah, yeah all that. And it's a seven-inch yeah. plank, so it's really oh, wow. beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. waterproof, um, you know, has a lifetime residential warranty. It's a nice floor um, for an included floor. Um, we do um, maple cabinets with dovetail drawers and, and soft okay. close hinges. We, on, on your base level? Yeah, yeah. Wow. And we okay. actually work with a, a custom kitchen company um, called Century Kitchens, which is um, in the Mid-Atlantic area. And they have a couple showrooms yep, I'm, um, I'm that you can go see. Um, but, uh, but yeah, they, they can get as customized as you want with a kitchen. And then we also have a few, you know, kind of preset um options for kitchen layouts that we, you know, work with, uh, people on as well. Okay. Um, and then we do, um, we do gas cooking, um, for, for the cooking surfaces. Um, and then we do electrical ovens. Um, it's all two, but uh, just to back up a little bit too, it's all two by six, six built homes great. as well. Yeah. Um, so we build all the walls from scratch, um, which is great. Yep. Um, and then we typically do, a, a, actually an R21 insulation in the wall. Um, which I believe code in Sussex County is R15. Yeah, um, so, so you're, it's you're stepping a, it up. Yeah, stepping it up a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Well, and I think what a lot of people don't understand when they hear two by six, people always mm-hmm. think stronger. It's like the first thing. Well, it's, it's, a, it's a, a thicker piece of wood, so it's a stronger wall. And I'm not sure, are you guys doing two by six 24 on center or? or so S- 16 on center for the, for the joists. Uh, system, uh, system. So okay. yeah, and then I believe the the structural the outside walls are twenty four. Yeah. Consent. So yeah. so what's so big and important, and I'm you know not everyone even knows this. I just know it because I used to geek out at the builder I used to work for, <laughs> is that when you go twenty four on center, if you were to stack all your exterior two by fours together, when you're sixteen versus twenty four, you have much less wood on your exterior wall with the same strength, mm-hmm. and wood's a horrible insulator. Mm-hmm. So it allows you much more insulation. For, right. from a, a thermal standpoint, but also much more sound deadening because it's also five and a half inch deep bays versus three and a half inch deep bays. So there's the strength aspect, there's the noise aspect, there's the comfort as- aspect of it. And, you know, having less wood means better R value. And it's really, I mean, if you're not building two by six homes, I don't know, in my opinion, you're not building homes. You know, it, it's, it's 2024. Yeah. Sure. It's, it's, time to, it's time to build two by six. So. Agreed. Yeah. Um, but then some of the beautiful finishes um, that are included, like all of your door casings, window casings, all the moldings, 
<clears throat> are the larger five and a quarter inch all included. So, so um, you're not just wrapping drywall around. All we the are not. Nope. No, no drywall return. return. Yeah, yeah. Great. casings are included, and then we actually do a twelve by twenty four tile in all of the bathrooms mm. on the floor, and then we take the tile up the wall That's in really a twelve nice. by twelve, and we do all tile to the ceiling in all oh. bathrooms, which mm -hmm. I think makes a huge difference. It does. It does. It does. Yeah. It really makes it, it elevates the elegance of, of a bathroom yeah. for sure. Absolutely. So. Um, kitchens, uh, <laughs> the counter services, what's like, what can someone expect standard? Yeah, we have really pretty granites to choose from okay. for the kitchens and bathrooms. So no from Micah. No, no. From Micah. no. Thank goodness. Um, and then um, our appliances, we use the Whirlpool KitchenAid um, program for that. Great, mm -hmm. great. Mm -hmm. um, and then in the bathroom, I'm assuming in the owner suite, you probably have options of bathtubs and no bathtubs and large showers. And, we do. Uh, yeah. yeah. So all the large showers are included. And then there's always the ability to add the soaking tub. And then again, so many different tubs out there. So yeah. we can find, you know, your perfect size or the look you were going for. Yeah. And, hang a chandelier over it or whatever you'd like to yeah. do. If, if someone awesome. happened to say for whatever reason, because I know this is a no for a lot of builders, but I have a product that, you know, I have this vision of this tub and you can't get it. And I know mm -hmm. my uncle manufactures it and they want to have you install or whatever. Are you guys open to putting someone's product in or is it like it's just, you know, we like to source the the products sure. when we can. Product um, so warranty standards. Exactly. Yeah, right. we want to make sure our installers or our plumbers or our electricians or whatever it is that you're looking for are comfortable with installing it and warranting the the work for it. That's fair. So um, so that that's typically the the process with with that. Um, and if we can find it for you, I think one of the advantages with working with us and and Fox Lane Homes is that if um, if there's a way to to find something and, and work with you on what you're looking for, we're we're gonna do it. You'll figure out how to yeah, source we'll, it. Right. Yeah, well, th we like to source things where you know where we can, and if that's an appliance customization or something like that, and we can find it, great. If we can't find it, you know, we'll we'll come up with Plan B on how we best work with the customer to figure out, hey, like this is where we need to do X, Y, or Z to make what yeah. your vision happen. Yeah. Um, and my you know last ish kind of question, and uh, I would say like to kind of get everyone's opinion on this. With having clients that come in with representation, what is you know the builder, you guys as salespeople, what's kind of your opinion on when someone you know should they have representation? What's kind of how do you guys look at that? Look at that. Yeah, absolutely. We love working with our realtors, um, especially you. You do such a great job. Uh, you. you know, <laughs> with really learning, you know, getting to know your clients and learning exactly what they need and location and a home and. We know when you're walking through the door, that person is where they're supposed to be. Cool. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and we work with you through the whole process. So you can either drop them off to us. We'll take great care of them. Or if you want to be involved through, you know, every single meeting, we are happy to welcome you, you know, as much as you want to be included in the process. Sure. Yeah. yeah. And I yeah. think that's, that's important because I think that there's um, there are some builders that... Um, I don't want to say they shy from representation, but, you know, maybe they don't want, you know, questions asked or, you know, whatever. And, you know, I think that there are some agents that kind of specialize on this side of things. And, and it's it's yeah. I think it's nice to have an advocate, you know, yeah. from, from a buyer standpoint. Um, how are you guys on uh, inspections? If, yeah. so, if yeah. someone decides because, you know, sometimes some builders are like. No, yeah. We, yeah, we don't. We don't. We're want an that. open book. Yeah, we are. That's great. So that's we, really yeah, important. Yeah, we. I mean, we are super proud of what we're putting out there and the homes we're building. And I mean, even just touring our homes under construction, I get so many comments on how clean and the quality and. <laughs> And I, he always makes fun of me because I think our lumber is like so beautiful. <laughs> like I walk in and I'm like, oh my gosh, look at this wood! It right. is like so beautiful. It's like a perfection. It, we're, it, we we kind of laugh like it's like uh, the 2020 memes where people are like in a fine dining restaurant yeah. in a lumber yard when <laughs> yeah. when uh, well, lumber was thirteen hundred dollars yeah. a board foot. That's, not, yeah. that's funny. But just the quality of everything we're using, um, even our HVAC, you didn't yeah. mention, but we use Train. Um, whenever we add a second oh, floor to a home, we add a second unit. So we're just doing all the little things that make the difference. Um, so every two-story home is dual zoned. Yeah. Correct. Oh wow, that, that's yeah, that's, dual that's zoned key. with two units, not <clears throat> yeah. just a damper system. Yeah. So no, and that, yeah, and that's even important to, yes. to highlight as well. So I mean, we're just super proud, um, and and we you know go around and do competitive shopping, and it's just you know 
we're just we feel we're on the right path. We yeah. are. We well, are. well, I think that it's you know when a, a builder, and this is just my opinion, when a builder is you know opposes an inspector coming in. Um, not that it throws up flags to me, but it, it does, you know, it's like, you know, things that make you go, hmm, you know, why don't you want someone that's looking of at course. it? You know, no offense to your trades, but, you know, or anyone's trades, but they're human beings. Sure. Yeah. And they are putting things, you know, board A and board B together or pipe or electrical, whatever it is. So a third party I to come in and say, hey, you know, John missed something before we close it all up. Yes, of let's totally. Fix, you know, let's fix it now. It makes life so much easier on everybody, and the client's happier. You yeah. guys are happier because you don't have to like take it apart and patch it later and whatever. Sure. You know, why not catch it as soon totally. as possible? And I always, I, I always just kind of scratch my head when a builder's like, "No, we don't allow an inspector to come in because they don't understand our process or how we build things or whatever." And it's like, guys, come on, you know. Yeah. yeah, this isn't rocket science here. You know, these yeah. this is what these guys do, and why don't you want to catch it? You know, as as early as possible. Sure, and it's okay. Yes, right. these are human beings, and now they can just fix it. Absolutely. Yeah, and and we actually do invest um, with a, a building inspector for our purposes, right? So, oh, like great. we we do have an independent party come and take a look at the at each stage of the process. We we usually have them actually come um, towards the towards the later part of the process, um, but certainly if if folks you know and customers want um to have another independent party that they hire we're we're happy and, to do and it. to be to be clear you're not talking about the building code inspector no no, no. <clears throat> a, an actual home inspector separately kind of analyzes the whole process no right? it's yeah. well and and that's a really important part because there are builders that say oh no well, the home gets right? gets inspected by the building code inspector which you know i'm sure he's a hard-working person mm -hmm. and right. sure however they're inspecting Lord knows how many homes a day and things do get missed. So it, yeah. it's great. And that's why I'm always an advocate to like, hey, you should have an, ins an inspection done. But the fact that you guys are doing it also. Yeah. I mean, that's just, I mean extra eyes. Yeah. 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 It's, it's, we it's, are human, yeah. like you said. Yeah. 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 And, and it's okay. Yeah. That, you know, and again, fix it before you close it up. And, sure. And before you move in and, and whatever. So yeah, that's great. Well, I think this is uh, this has been super super informative, and I think that um, you guys again, there's an absolute need in this market for people that are looking to kind of start off with a floor plan and make tweaks that work for them and their family and their lifestyle. Right. And um, you know, I'm excited to have people call in and and let's let's start talking about stuff. But and I think this would be great to kind of come back maybe and three or four months and see yeah. how, how things down at Sweet Bay awesome. and, you know, the, the, the other communities, how things are kind of progressing along. So would love that. Yeah. yeah. And we're just excited to grow in this area and be able to offer what we're offering and just continue to improve, you know, building and, you know, hopefully all the things we're doing, you know, people really yeah, notice the process the and, and Yeah. I think, I think we're, we're excited about building the Fox Lane brand in uh, the Fox Lane home brand, homes brand in the market. And for folk to, for people to kind of meet, with us and figure out like how how they're going to live their life, how they're going to use their home. And I think if there's one word that kind of sums it all up, it's flexibility, right? Sure. So I think I think we're we're flexible on a lot of different things, and and um, from homes to communities to you know it's it's the buyer's process, and we really want to be you know a, a partner with with all of our buyers, and we want to make that process what each buyer expects and and deliver a really high quality product. Well, and I think that also. I know I keep saying like, all right, and so now we're wrapping it up and I you know, pop another <laughs> question there. But this is, you know, to kind of go on what you just said and, and a word that you used, you know, maybe 15 minutes ago, which is boutique. And that really mm -hmm. kind of jumped out to, to me like big time. There are majority of builders. They, you know, they start off and, you know, they're like this. We're starting at, at home one. But our goal is to be to be building 800 homes a year or whatever. And the, the boutique is not the word that you use for that kind of vision or path you know boutique is you know customer service oriented kind of that flexibility is mm -hmm. part part of boutique and i and correct me if i'm wrong i don't know if that's your vision to be building 800 homes a year and just kind of you it's know, not copy, um, paste, our, our fearless leader dave, <laughs> dave. <laughs> he constantly because you know i always get super excited when we're getting ready to open a community i'm like i can sell six or something he's like we're not selling six <laughs> he's like calm down <laughs> yeah um so we are we we really just pace ourselves to be able to deliver that quality um just 
you know, home and, and, you know, keep so many under construction at a time sure. and just take our time with them. We don't need to squeeze everything in. And, and, and again, it yeah. is it is like what I said, you know, your custom builders are building a couple of homes a year and the productions sure. that are doing hundreds. So sure. it is that. Kind of right yeah. There's got to be that gap. Yeah. yeah. Someone needs to be there. We just don't want to lose the quality in what we're putting out. So. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the plan right now is just to stay the boutique builder, and that's huge. That's great. Yeah. You know? so. Well, guys, thank you so much for coming on. Let's uh, let's do this again in thanks a couple of months. Yeah, no, ab- for absolutely, us. and we'll awesome. see how things uh, progress as they go along. Awesome. Yeah, appreciate it. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Thank, thank you. you. All right, bye. That was fun. That was very fun. Thanks again for tuning in to this episode of Who's in the House. If you still have questions, feel free to email us at info at who's in the house, D-E as in Delaware, dot com. You can also call or text any questions to 302-466-5511. And don't forget, hit that subscribe button, that notification bell. And in the meantime, keep an eye out for our next episodes. We look forward to seeing you then. Have a great day.